Hey everyone, Happy New Year! For my first video this year, I thought I'd give you an overview of my mini synth series. I've been working on it for a little over a year now, so I thought it'd be a great time to show you what I have so far. The idea of a mini synth started in late 2021 when PCBWay asked me if I'd like to collaborate with them on a series of open source synth projects. At the time, I've already been interested in learning how to do PCB-based projects, so I took them up on their offer and started a series of Eurorack synthesizer modules. My challenge to myself then was to try and fit as many modules as I can into a tiny case. Over the course of a year, I designed and built one module at a time, while releasing each one as open source. Here's what I have so far. It's a collection of 6 Eurorack modules with sizes ranging from 4 HP to 6 HP. The case is made of scrap mahogany and finished with boiled in seed oil. It was my first real woodworking project and I'm very proud of it. I learned how to do box joints with a Japanese saw and chisel. With my current setup though, I can't deal with the dust so I'd have to put my woodworking stuff on hold for now. Now let's have a quick overview of what each module is for. First is the oscillator. This is the sound generating part of my setup. This one in particular was based on Moritz Klein's Shapes VCO. It produces a sawtooth wave and a pulse wave. Pitch can be controlled using the coarse and fine tuning knobs. It can also take in CV signals from a sequencer like this Korg SQ1. It sounds great on its own, however, to shape the length and timing of each note, I run it through my next module called the Mini VCA. It's a voltage controlled amplifier. It takes audio signal from my oscillator along with the gate signal from my sequencer to control exactly when and how long to fire a note. This one's heavily inspired by a project by Juanito Moore. these two modules, I can already turn notes on or off. To shape the sound even further, I use the next module called the ADSR. ADSR stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release. It turns the gate signal from a sequencer from this to this. It lets me control changes in volume more gradually. I can use the attack setting to turn this into a more gradual volume swell. On the other end, I can also use the release setting to turn this sudden volume drop into a more gradual fade. So far, we've been hearing the raw sawtooth output from my oscillator with variation in volume. To make things more interesting, I run my audio through the next module, which is a filter. I call it the Mini VCF, or Voltage Controlled Filter. As the name suggests, it filters out or controls the amount of certain frequencies. In its low pass mode, for instance, it controls the amount of treble frequencies that pass through. Here's how it sounds. It also has a resonance control which introduces some interesting overtones into our original sound. Both the VCA and VCF can be controlled using a sequencer. The next module allows me to use one signal to do that. This one is called the minimal. It's what you call a multiple. Its job is basically to take one signal and pass it through multiple outputs. It's probably the simplest module I have. It's just a bunch of jacks connected together. But it's definitely the most used module I have. Finally, we get to my last module for 2022, which is also my first effects module. 
This one is called the mini delay. It's a simple echo delay effect module. It's my very first surface mount based project and I really like how it turned out with a small form factor. This year, I plan to rebuild my earlier modules and fix some of my mistakes. As I've mentioned earlier, these were my first PCB modules, so there are a lot of things I'd want to improve on. I am also considering porting the other ones to SMT. What do you think? Should I do it? If you're interested in learning more about my other synth modules, you can check out my website, benjomodular.com. I have a list of all the synth projects I've built since I started. You can also find demos of the modules I've mentioned here on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again next time.